Okay. Good evening, everybody. It's six o'clock on uh, May 10th, 2022. My name is Dave McDonald. I'm the chairman of the Sewer Commission. Uh, I'm going to ask everyone to join us on the Pledge of Allegiance. And John, if you could start us off. Yeah. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. In accordance with the requirements of the open meeting law, please be advised that this meeting of the Sewer Commission is being recorded and will be available and to be found on the Lunarbury Access Channel after the meeting. The following information is also provided for members of the public that would like to participate in the meeting to participate remotely from your computer, please use your link to join the public meeting found on and found on both of the agenda. Found on reading the final. Okay. 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 To participate remotely from your computer, please use the link to join the public meeting found on the web posted agenda. The telephone now toll free at 1 475 4499 and enter your web bar 7637. If you have not registered for Zoom, you'll be asked your name and your email. I'd like to do a roll call vote for all the members. Please, please respond by staying here. Mike, no? Yeah. Mike Devakis, I caught a call to him. It's Brett Ramson, he's going to be a few minutes late. John Reynolds? Here. Uh, Barb? Here. And Jane, I see you there. Yeah. Right. Now, before we start, I'd like to ask for any public comment from the public. We see any, Barb? Nope. Any, uh, any public from the board? Hey, all good. John? No, oh, I'm all set. <laughs> My public comment. Thank everybody for coming to the meeting on Saturday. Uh, we have, we are proud to say we did pass our article. Uh, it's a start, and uh, I know we're going to help some people in the town. So thank you for everybody who participated at the town meeting. Uh, I'd like to give a special thank you to Tim Murphy, who did I thought, a very good job. I, I know it was a long day, and uh, we had the new clicker. So uh, I'm, I'm glad that all worked out for everybody. Uh, are there any answers for no announcements? No, nope. yeah, just that the election is coming up on May 24th. We've got two two slots on the ballot. And John and Mike up for re-election. Mike, no. Mike, Mike and I running against each other? Mike, no, John. no. Two openings, two Just remember, candidates. a vote for me is a flush for you. <laughs> now, not to be outdone, uh, we did give Mike, uh, we did give John a... Uh, Campaign sign. Did you see that by chance, John? No, I did not. John's got his own. I, I sent him an email of one to see if he liked it. Uh, I, so did I, not I, I did not receive that email. Maybe, Bob, can you send that over to him when you get a chance? And yep. what is that for? It's a so lawn signs you're going to have made up. What's that? Lawn signs. No. <laughs> Take a look at it. Uh, and the election is the 21st, Barb, isn't it? Yes, I think so. I did it. I think I said the Yes, sorry. It's okay. But our congratulations go to Mike and um, John. Uh, we haven't been we haven't been elected yet, Dave. Uh, well, mm -hmm. it's gonna it's gonna be a tight race, I can tell you that. So. Okay, any appointments, Barb? No appointments. Very good. Moving um, on. I don't know if you want to rearrange schedule, but I know we have Ian here um, in regards to 43 Summer Street. Hold on one second. That was the change of use that was sent out to everybody for the marijuana retail yeah. site. I see it. Does anyone have an objection if we move up uh, 43 Summer Street? Since it's I, I have no objections. It's, I know sometimes 
people object after the fact, not commissioners, but object after the fact when we, we shuffle things. But I'm fine with it. Mike? No, yeah, I'm good with it. Okay, let's go to 43 Summer Street proposal mm -hmm. for a marijuana establishment application. Um, Bob, you want to tell us about it? Sure, we've received the, oops, and there's Ian. Um, we've received the information at the public hearing on the conversion of 43 Summer Street to Uma Flowers, which is a retail marijuana dispensary. Ian, do you want to talk about it or do you want to just wait and see? Um, so just to give a little bit of background, this is uh, Donnelly's Tavern. It's at the uh, corner of Summer Street and Young's Road. Um, it's a restaurant presently um, using their, um, their water sewer meter. The most recent bill, um, I came up with, I think 298 gallons a day that's coming out right now. And using the um, Title V for retail, which is what um, the dispensary would be considered, I came up with 200. Um, so the way I look at this is it's going to be a decrease in the amount of flow. And um, as I'm sure you know, a restaurant to a retail is also, you know, less contaminants for a retail space than a restaurant space. So I, I, I see this as a net positive. I don't anticipate any issues from a technical point of view, but I'm happy to answer any concerns or questions. Okay, so my understanding is you're metered anyway, so it doesn't matter to me yeah. how much water you use because we go by the metering bill anyways, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, does commission have any questions on this? I can interject something also, um, if I may. We did send it off to Fitchburg because it is Fitchburg flow, um, just and it's a commercial entity and usually we run it by Fitchburg. They have no issue with it um, as far as contaminants, like Ian said, it's not or being a retail site. It doesn't have a lot of entry into the wastewater. Um, they did recommend, however, because it has been a restaurant that they wanted the line uh, camera between the building and the main for any grease buildup or any defects in the line. So I had put that in the, the online permit, permitting database and I think Ian had already said that they're working on that. Yeah, well, ha happy to do it. Also, is there a grease trap on that property, Bob? Yes. Uh, the, are you guys gonna, you're not gonna be using the grease trap, I would presume, is that correct? Yeah, I presume it would not be needed. I, I would recommend you send a letter into Bob asking for that to be decommissioned. Um, and Bob, I think our policy is that if it's not gonna be there, it would be taken out or? Right. So, I mean, otherwise, you, if you want to pay a yearly fee for that, that's fine with us, but. Uh, probably not. <laughs> yeah. I, so I, 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 go ahead, John. I just want to make sure this is an internal grease trap, not, because uh, there's always some conf confusion regarding the internal and the externals. Uh, the external being more like a septic tank. Um, are these internal grease traps or is it an external? It is internal. No. Internal, okay. Now the plumber, you would need a, a certified plumber to come and disconnect it and reroute it. And uh, once that plumber does that and sends us a certificate that has been completed, then Bob will take you off the uh, the rolls of the grease traps. Yeah. So that saves you some money every year. Great. Any other questions for the applicant? Uh, no. The nope. only question I have, what, what do you plan on opening? <laughs> It depends how long it takes to get out permitted. Um, we're going to be in front of planning board, I think, May 23rd. Right. Um, I, my experience is not no dispensary gets approved in one meeting. Um, so I would expect get through permitting in the summer and maybe this fall. Now, didn't you guys already go to the selectmen and stuff? Yeah. So they have, um, it's called a, a host community agreement. Um, it's basically between the dispensary and the town saying, okay, you know, we'll, we'll let you, you know, open a dispensary here. Um, and then at that point, it, it goes to pointing board for kind of a site, site specific um, site plan review. So. I just want to wish you well and welcome to Lunenburg. And I hope Thank you do you. a great job. 
<laughs> that's a great location. A lot of people go by there. Um, and yeah, also and, and, and the applicant has one open in Pepperell right now, and I think it's been very well received by the town. And you know, it, it, it's been a phenomenal thing. I think so. They're they're a great company and a great uh, team of people. Yeah, you know, I heard they are. I heard they run a very good operation. And like I said, uh, we're always looking to greet new people to town. And I hope you do well. And if you need anything else from the sewer commission, just let, let Barbara know. Sure. Thank you very much. Anything else from the board? Just one one quick question. I, I yep. should have asked this at the beginning, Ian. What? Um, who are you in the, this process? I, I just assumed you were um, the person. I'm their uh, I'm their site civil engineer. Okay, um, great. So I did the okay. site plans and you know applying for the permits and all that. All right, thank you. Yep. Bob, you want to take a vote on this or? I believe so because there is a change of use, um, and that form was sent out. So yes, I'd prefer a vote of <clears> on <throat> record. So I'm looking for a motion to. Um, sure, I, I I make a motion to accept the changes of change of use at 43 Summer Street from restaurant to retail. Okay, second. I'll second that. Any more discussion, Mike? John? I'm all set. Roll call vote, Mike. Aye. John. Aye. And I for myself. Thank you. Great. Thank Ed you very is much. on here. I've Sorry. been sitting here. Oh. Everybody. Yep. Can you Brett see Brett? Here. Well, Brett, don't say anything. <laughs> well, I <laughs> thought you saw me. I just figured you saw me. No, no, you're not on. Hold on. Let me change that. Sorry about that. That's no problem, buddy. Brett, what part did you hear? Were you there for the whole thing? I caught a good chunk of it. Okay. Do you have any? I'm sorry. Before we close out the roll call vote, do you have any questions? I don't. Um, uh, I have one question. What is he planning? What are they planning to use for? Re I know it's retail, but what are they selling? I'll uh, it's a dispensary. Okay. Take one more time. It's a uh, dispensary of marijuana adult use. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very is good. That medical, is that medical too, by the way? Um, I believe they're only doing adult use. Okay. Which is, you know, the, the legal jargon for uh, recreational. Yeah, that's fine. Very good. Well, I, I guess my only comment at this point is I thought the term marijuana was going to be banned from use, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> well, it's in the zoning bylaw quite a bit, so I don't know what happened. Well, it's this whole woke thing, but anyway, I digress. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm good, Dave. I'm ready to vote. All right, let's do this again. A roll call vote. Uh, Mike? Um, yeah, aye. <laughs> John? Aye. Brett? Aye. And I for myself. Congratulations. And again, if you need anything, please let us know. Sure. Thank you very much. Yep. Thank you. Thanks. Ian. Good night now. So, good night. <laughs> hey, Brett, I'm sorry I missed you there. <clears throat> uh, that's quite all right. No problem. Um, I'm just trying to get my computer working correctly so I can. Hey, let's Don't mind me. Our... Let's go back on our agenda. Town meeting updates, budget articles, bylaws, changes. Barb? I just a review and for those that didn't go and didn't watch it again, um, that the budget articles passed under the consent calendar. The <clears throat> sewer bylaw passed with amendments, and I did send it out to everybody this afternoon after I got the verbiage from the clerk's office. So that still will need to go to the attorney general's. Um, so it's not a, an approved by law yet, but it's it's gotten through town meeting with amendments. Okay. And uh, by the way, Jane, I saw you there at town meeting. You do a lot of stuff for the town. So I thank you for that. Uh, it was good to see you as we walked in and the clickers were a great thing. I dropped mine like 12 times. It still worked. It's in, uh, <laughs> I can't believe I kept dropping it. But. Yeah. I think it's great. Now you can finally vote anonymously, right? You know, it, it's no more anonymous uh, decision because you always have somebody saying no, but it, it was pretty cool. I felt like it was on a game show, though. You know, let the tote board <laughs> um, But I was surprised that ours, again, there's a lot of good people 
making recommendations on ours. Is it exactly what we were trying to do? It will work. And that's over the next few years, you can modify it or whatever, but it's what we try to accomplish anyway. So, and keep in mind that if somebody exercises the easement, they're still gonna to have to get permission from the homeowner that they hold over the easement with. So, but well, I, 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 I did watch this morning and I, I appreciate all the input from the residents. I thought it was all good input. No, it, it was good. And I gotta thank Bob there because she was whispering in my ear the information as we were going on. I was almost at the point where we just sat there and watched the whole thing. Uh, we, we could have just have gone out and have a drink, I guess. Uh, but, but, but it went good. And, and that's what town politics is all about was, it was interesting. You know, a lot of comments and at the end of the day we got it passed so any other comments on that okay next one is upland white street extension yep i was hoping we were going to say we were going to get our letters out we've just had you know when you go to do the letters and you're trying to identify exactly which parcels were involved in white pierce's um work we've, we've gone and couple times back and forth with Wright Pierce just to try to nail it down. So hopefully the letters will be out next week. Okay. Uh, Kevin was out for a while and then now he's back, but I don't know. We're just, we go back and forth and get some answers, but we're not there yet, but it should be going out within the week, I would think. I just want to bring something up to the commission. Just so you know, we talked about it here a couple of times. And I think we're looking at a 50 something thousand dollar betterment. Is that correct, Barb? Yes. One thing we didn't know, though, was that the engineers didn't pick up part of White Street. We're trying to go all the way to the end of White Street to tie in. So we asked them to look at that again, Bob. We yes, well, they went up to Broad Meadow, but we did confirm with Rob that that was done in on purpose due to the topography. It would have taken a pump station to go further up White Street. So, so uh, knowing that that would increase that betterment cost, we back way the the letters will go out to the white street residents up to broad meadow drive <clears throat> so everybody understand that part yep okay no questions moving on 43 summer street we just did that thank you 711 mass ave condo project yep um everybody should have gotten the peer review from graves engineering Looks as if there's some plan changes still to be done to meet their needs. Now, is Grave working for us? Yes, they're working well for the planning board. Um, and they've gone back to look at the sewer regs. They looked back at, at our prior DPW director's comments to make sure that they were met. Um, they still have some issues, so. I'm expecting that it'll require another plan coming coming from Whitman and Bingham. Okay. All right, so we don't need a vote or anything. We just need to wait for additional, yeah. additional information. You're fine with Graves's, you know, input. Yes. I Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Anything else on that? Nope. Moving on. SSO notification contract with Great Pierce. Uh, we need to get a vote on this. Bob, yep. do you want to explain that? Yep. This is the um, SSO, which is the sanitary service overflow that the DEP requires that everyone have a plan in place. I think it's by July 1st or thereabouts. And Wright Pierce had submitted a, a number to Rob to get it done. So we've just, again, gone back and forth with the contract through our council and then their principals. And um, I believe I sent it to you. Um, I just need your approval. It's been approved by council. It's for, um, what is the total? It is not a big thing. So it was around $3,400 or something? Yeah, $3,400. Just to get a notification, like a form and a, and a, and a process put in place. So if we were to have a, overflow, we know exactly what we're doing. We, we have to do this every uh, few years anyways, Barb, don't we, the DEP? Well, anytime there's an SSO, we have to do it. We've just always, we've had, uh, Swiss had submitted 
I think one or two for us. It's it's required by any water or wastewater professional, but the DEP just want to get everybody's plan in place. Okay. Any yeah. questions on that? So we need a vote for that, right, Bob? Yes, please. And then if you, anybody could please come by the office and sign off on this contract so I can get it back to Kevin. But by the ver verbal vote, I can let Kevin know that it's been approved. So I'm looking for a motion to accept. Sure. So I, make, I make a motion that we accept the notification contract with Wright peers, the SSO notification <laughs> contract with Wright peers. Oh, second. We'll second that. Any discussion? See none, all in favor, Brett? Did we lose Brett? Mike? Yep, we did. Aye. John? Aye. And I for myself. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. All right, next one is uh, year three CTS contract. Uh, Brad, why don't we go through that one? Um, I sent out a letter to you that, if you recall, um, they were increasing year three due to all the rising costs um, that nobody had too much of a deal of a, a concern with. Um, it was a 4% increase on um, the O&M portion and a 4.5% increase on hourly rate on extra services. Excuse me, Bob, can you hook in Brad? He's trying to, he's in the waiting room. Oh, sorry. Apologize. So um, anyway, so the commission had approved it because CTE is very, very um, conservative with their extra charges. We have received maybe one or two bills in the last two years um, and they do good work and, and the increases with all that, you know, all that huge. So we had, the commission had approved it. Um, the procurement officer just wanted a letter of explanation for the file. And that is what I sent to you all just for your approval, um, because it's signed off by the commission that you do accept the, that, you know, they needed this year three increase for the reasons why, so. And, and, the, the, oh, go ahead. and the procurement officer is signed with this as long as the store commission is. Yes, well, that's what she said. I've got to, once you approve it, I'll send it to her um, okay. and hopefully it meets her needs. If not, we'll find out what okay. she needs. But she was fine with us proceeding with their number in our contract. Um, so she didn't, I mean, it wasn't a big pushback. She just needs it for the file as I understand okay. it. So Brett, I know you were, Mr. half of it, this is part of the uh, uh, CTE contract. Uh, you, if you remember, they were looking for an increase, a minor increase to help cover fuel and stuff like that. Yeah, you, you should have a copy of it in your package. Can you hear me, Brett? Yep, he said yes. Okay. Lip reach. Sorry, I was muted. All right, so I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. All right, so yeah. I'm looking for a motion to accept that. Okay. No. Uh, go ahead. I make a motion that we accept the increase to the CET, CTE contract for year three. And send a letter that to the procurement. What's that, Barb? And send the letter uh, to the procurement officer. And and send the letter to the procurement office. Okay, everyone, uh, second, anybody? I'll second that motion. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Uh, okay, any discussion on it? All in favor, John? Aye. Mike? Aye. Brett? Aye. And an I for myself. Okay, bro. Right. Okay, next one is me. Meeting decisions. It's that time that we have to sit back and look at this again. Uh, do we stay on Zoom? Towns have until mid July per the governor's May 31st in person or Zoom. So we can go back to in person. You can also do a combination of being in person and doing it from Zoom. Um, John, I understand uh, in your case, you probably still want to do it from the house for a while. But that's okay. Yeah, it, it all depends on you know our, our business and what 
uh, medical facilities are requiring at the time. So. I mean, today is uh, May 10th. So let's, let's just talk about it. Brett, what do you feel? I'm certainly open to getting back to meeting in person. I would like that. I mean, I'm, I haven't been following closely the latest surge, but um, I would like to meet back in person at some point. Let's go follow on. Mike, what's your feeling? I'm thinking I probably have to get some new clothes, but yeah, it's probably a good idea. No, I'm, 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 for, I'm for it, but um, like Brett just mentioned, there is an upsurge, you know, uptick right now, but they're saying it's just temporary. So, you might, Dave. My my right. my preference is in person. Um, I just have to go with whatever Bonnie's business is requiring. It. You know, I totally understand that too. So, but my preference would be to go back to in person and go back to our lives. Um, so why don't we do this? The May, when's that next meeting, Brad? May 21st. May 31st. The last, is it, how come it's the last one of the month? It's always the last Tuesday. It's the second and last Tuesday. But the last Tuesday is the last day of the month? Yes. That's crappy, okay. <laughs> so the next meeting, May 31st, I'd recommend that we uh, do it live. Um, Let's do a roll call vote on that. Let's do a motion. Anybody want to do a motion? When you say live, you mean in person? Yes. Sorry. Sure. I'll, I'll make a motion that we do the May 31st meeting in person. Uh, looking for a second. I'll second that. Let's open up the discussion. John, you may want to change that to the May. 31st meeting in person, except uh, maybe put a line in there. Um, what's the word I'm trying to say? Uh, out of the hybrid. ordinary circumstances. A, hy a hybrid or? Yeah, I mean, we, we, got, we should put something in there that if you have a problem where you can't attend, just it's not a big deal, you know, or, or any other. How about, how about maybe, Zoom optional? Yeah, I mean, a member may. Right. I, I, I amend the motion to. Uh, have the May 31st meeting live with the option for Zoom for those who might not be able to attend in person. Bob, how's that? Yep. I mean, we have people, Brett and Mike, especially they're on the road and I'm gonna be on the road too. So, I mean, uh, th this you still might have to do Zoom once in a while, but I think if we go have the core at the uh, town hall, that would work. When I say core, more than what two people, and make it all zoom. Well, we'll figure it out. Yeah, something like that. And we're yeah, still going to have them at six o'clock. Six o'clock meeting still good. Works for me. Are they both going to be? Where are they going to make be? it work? I kind of forget. Are we going back to the DPW on a Tuesday? No, last Tuesday is at town hall. No, I'm, I'm talking about the Tuesday meetings. Our, our first Tuesday of the month. First Tuesday. Second Tuesday of the month is at the DPW. Last Tuesday of the month is usually at the town hall to be televised. Yeah, for some reason I thought uh, they're both at the town hall. Okay, is that okay with everybody? We, so can, be to... live. we can be live or we can be Memorex. We can be, we can be <laughs> you know, it'd be good to see you guys. So Jane, do you have any issues with that? You're part of the team here. Um. No. <laughs> I thought it was muted. <laughs> <coughs> okay. So we're going back to uh, that. Okay. Well, did we do a vote? Yeah, we no, did. It. Not yet. Yeah. Okay. John? Uh, aye. Brett? Aye. Mike? Aye. And I for myself. Good, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, minutes, 412 minutes. Everyone can do it, but Mike, who's not here. So I'm looking for a motion to accept the minutes from 412. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes. Any seconds? Um, yeah, any seconds? 
Sure, I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor, Mike No. Aye. Brett Ransom. Aye. John Reynolds. Aye. And I for myself. Okay, next topic is business manager report. Go ahead, Barb. All right. Well, we are hopefully getting a new DPW director next week. He is appearing before the selectmen for ratification tonight, Bill Bernard. Keep your fingers crossed. We want him to stay. Um, the 40B, um, nothing, there's been no updates, but I just, it was just as a reminder. It is going to be very important that you use your Lunenburg emails on any um, sewer business because with 40Bs, a lot of times um, public records are requested and all emails would be required and that would include your personal if you've done sewer business on your personal emails. So it would be better if we all just went to the Lunenburg email. Unfortunately, as I say this, it's converting, it's migrating from a lunenburgonline.com to a lunenburgma.gov. Um, you would be contacted fairly soon um, for that migration. The IT people have been working on that. So just as a reminder to try to use that you know, check in on your Lunenburg emails. Uh, before, so, you, before you go forward, just let you know, uh, everyone within the next, I don't know what the deadline is, but the emails are being changed. So uh, Mike Nolte at Lunenburg, uh, dot online dot gov is not going to be working. It's going to be what part? LunenbergMA.gov. It's going to be LunenbergMA. So it'll be Mike Nolte, LunenbergMA.gov. When's the completion of all that? I don't know. They're they're still actively working on it. I think they're going to get all the employees done, and then they'll work on the commission. Okay. But if you're going to be getting a hold of Bob, if it's in your, if you have her in your phone, you might want to start thinking about changing. Yes, I am. I am at LunenbergMA.gov. You probably see, may have seen that in the emails coming from me, but I have been migrated already. But I know if we send it, you an email on your old email, you're still getting that too. I am not. They shut it down. Wow. Okay. Well, it should it should forward. I have checked because I go into that online because I still don't have on my contacts or my calendar or whatever. But um, there are no more emails in there. They should come over. I've had an instance where one or two haven't. So just if I if you don't hear back from me, call and make sure I got I've gotten your email. I will. Uh, Barbara, uh, sounds sounds like I'm just going to stop in and visit you as usual instead of emailing. <laughs> There you go. I'm I, I with you, John. When I go for so, my signature, I'll do it. <laughs> Bob, if you can, can you send an email to all of us with your new email address and Paula's email address of the because I can just take that and copy it and put it into the into the phone. Yep. And I don't think we have Paula's email address either. Okay. So. She uh, hasn't question. been migrated yet, but yeah. she will be. Okay. Question for you, Barbara. Yep. This migration, is this an automatic thing or when it happens, what do we have to do yeah, to they make will, this change? They will be doing it and you will have, but you will have to log into a different, it's based on Office 365. Um, so it's an office.com, which is, you know, you can check your, well, you check your emails from your computer anywhere anyway, but um, for us, it's not, you know, it's not housed on a server anymore. It will be on, on a, on the web. So, nice. But they, the cloud, it'll be automatically cloud. done. You just have to log in differently. Has it been seamless, Barbara? Oh gosh, no. For this way, we went down to see Barbara bring her a coffee and maybe a shot of Bailey's on the <laughs> top. But I have to admit, Nathan was dealing with a product cut productivity dip and I'm pretty sure Lunenburg is has a big part of that in the last quarter. I, I gotta admit you guys have handled it real well you and Paula and with everything going on with the town meeting and I mean this is the biggest articles that we ever submitted that I know in a long time so a lot of work went into about a lot of things over the last month so and, and then on top of that they throw the new computer system and like, well, you're always going to get bugs with that. And Mike, that happened to you recently, didn't it? You got a new computer system and you have bugs in it? Still dealing with them. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Whenever they say you're going to have an upgrade, you always run the other direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else, Barb? Um, five Chestnut Street. Yeah, Five Chestnut Street. Um, I never did get a confirmation, but Dave, you you heard heard that it was passed over at town meeting. This was, was the parcel that wanted to expand their entire property and in, into the SSA. Yeah, hopefully, uh, I forgot who their engineers are, but I, I'm surprised it was passed over. But it's passed over. Okay, so so there, there's that. Um, grease traps. The one A and D that had been outstanding has finally submitted the, all the correct reports. Um, before he started being billed the $25 a day. So thank goodness for that. Um, March logs, March is in April logs. I've just got two outstanding um, and that they're just a week overdue and I hadn't checked with them yet. So they've been contacted today to get them in. Okay. So otherwise- Any, business any comments from the board on that, John? Uh, just going back to Five Chestnut, was someone from Five Chestnut um, there at the town meeting representing him? Yes. They still decided to pass out. Was there any discussion or? Uh, very little. If you get a chance, you should watch it. Um, okay. Was that, was that before or after? Uh, yeah, after. 20, after? Okay. I think it was Article 20, so 29 maybe? About 30, yeah. Maybe 30, yeah. I mean, yeah, take a look at it. Yeah, I don't have it. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, oh, uh, Mike, any comments on Barbara's reports? Grease oh, traps. It's just nice, nice to see grease traps falling in line. That's all. Brett? I have no comment here. Thank you. Action items. Brad, you got any action items? Um, just before that, I'm sorry. I just I have a Fitchburg invoice for 17,544.79 that I will process as long as that is acceptable. To you gentlemen, it is the same amount that I submitted to Fitchburg. So if we believe our own numbers, then I believe you should approve the invoice. Yeah, it, that's acceptable to me. All right. You want to, you want to vote on nope. that? As long no. as I'm just making you aware that it's, it will be processed. Okay. Um, website was updated. We tried to update it as much as we could with understandable language as far as our articles were concerned. Um, we put up there, I think, information about a new DPW director. <clears throat> I forget what else. But anyway, Jeff, just check your website. It's got it's got stuff on it. I thought I had it printed out what I had done, but it has fallen to the way back. So okay. the website was updated. Um, I received something today, which is the public hearing on Il Forno, um, putting up a freestanding building. They've gone through multiple permit processes. Um, the latest was to have that tent that they, you know, more of a permanent tent that they've got in the parking lot now. Um, but they're going before public uh, planning board public hearing, Mart, uh, sorry, June 13th. Um, if it's all right with the, the commission, I will uh, I will move the permit ahead because we had no issue with it when it was a tent. And they're just trying to do a freestanding building. I think just a bit more permanent than tent. The only question I would have is what is the size of their grease trap to have now because they're changing their occupancy? I, when, I, when, I, when, I, when they did the tent, when they've gone through two different approvals and both times, um, the capacity did not change. They are just trying to be able to deal with the pandemic and and moving their basic seating seating occupancy um, to outside when when necessary. No, no, no. That, it, we understood that, but now they're going to a permanent structure. It's Correct. not, but it's not walled. It's, as far as I understand, it's like a pavilion. It's just not a tent. It's not. It's not going to be heated year round. <clears throat> Will it be heated year round? Uh, um, I think we need a definition on that. Uh, my, my, I guess my question would be is, is the purpose for this to just disperse the same number of people they might have or is volume increasing? Does that impact 
you know, flow into the sewer system, either via grease traps or, you know, sewerage, you know, when I asked it uh, regarding the tent and it was the same size. <clears throat> they said there would be no increase to seating capacity. I, yeah. I would uh, get clarification from Casey, the building department. Okay. Asking if they're changing the ordinance as far as occupancy. Before it was temporary because of COVID. Now it's a permanent structure that's going to be there. So it's outside dining, but it's still a permanent thing. It's not, it's not temporary now. So are they changing their occupancy on their permits? Okay. That, that would tell us. Okay. Anybody else have any questions with that? And I'm for it, by the way. I mean, I, I think Alfano's is a good restaurant. Uh, yeah, I, I'm for it too. I just want to understand it. Yeah, I just, you know, you just don't want to see something permanent being built there and the occupancy being the same because it's got to change somewhere. But okay. Who knows? I gotta if be... I do, um, this is online. And, and uh, if I ask the question, will this be an increase in capacity and they come back and say no, is it okay to say okay? Or do you want to revisit it? Or you the, there's a public meeting on June 13th. I think I think I'm good with it. I mean, as long as especially if capacity is the same. I mean, okay. Yeah, I mean, if if Casey says nothing changing with capacity, it's fine with me too. Um, everybody else feels the same. Yeah, I, I feel the same. If capacity is the same, it's not an issue. See, okay. I'm here. Agree. Uh, okay. See, I'm hearing different things, Bob. I thought they're building a permanent structure, of a three, a four season thing. So that we haven't it's, seen any drawings on it. Yeah, no. Um, I don't think it's a simple purveyor. No, the, the drawing is only the site plan of the current um, tent site. And it, all it said is construction of a 30 by 50 foot freestanding detached structure in the general area of the existing outdoor canopy tent. Special permit granted March 22, March of 22, to expand <clears throat> a pre existing non conforming structure. So. Okay. That was it. But there is a public hearing June 13th off. Okay. Um, action items. I have one. As Barbara said, we have a new DPW director starting on what day there, Barb? We believe it's Mar uh, May 16th. Okay. We don't know for sure. What I'd like to do is have Al from, Hall, from our CTE company uh, do a tour of the pumps with our new DPW director. And I'd like to open that up to all the board members. So if anybody wants to take a ride with Al and the new DPW director and uh, check out the pumps and you, have, you, have, you can't have a better guy than Al to do that. I mean, Al knows the pumps in and out. So if anybody wants to take advantage of that, once uh, the new DPW director comes on board, um, this would be a good opportunity for any member to go with them, see it. Uh, and we'll try to do it maybe in the afternoon because I know most of you guys work in the morning. Uh, anybody have any questions about that? Brett, I don't think you've seen the pump stations, have you? No, I'm, I'm very interested. Um, afternoon certainly would be best and I'll be working in town pretty soon for a little while. Okay. So you, look you look tired there, Brett. You, you tired today? <laughs> yeah, I've had some long days lately. Uh, I, trust me, I know. Uh, Mike, how about you? Yeah, it's, I mean, I've done it before. It's a must-see tour. Um, will there be appetizers? Yes, uh, sure. I'm in then. <laughs> uh, John, uh, would you like to take that tour too? Yeah, I've gone on a couple, but it's been a while. So sure, if it, it works out, I'd go. I know I talked to Mike uh, Devakis. He said, I know he wants to do it too, but I know he's slamming right now. So, All right, so Bob, can you make that happen? I will ask both parties. And the last is public comment. Is there any public comment from the public? Bob, do you see any? Nope, I do not. Seeing none. Any public comment from the board? Brett? No comment here, thank you. Mike? All good. John? All set. Okay, and Mike, public comment would be one is I want to wish Mike and John the best of luck on the election coming up in a couple of weeks. Go, go, go. You have my vote. And uh, I know that if I give a vote for Mike, I get a flush here. So that, that's good for me. I also want to uh, remind people that this will be my last meeting as chair of the Civil Commission. Um, I'm looking forward to 
um, staying on the commission, but turning it over to the next generation. So with that being said, our upcoming meetings are gonna be May 21st. That's gonna be the town election from seven to five. That's at the Pasio School. Um, on May 31st will be our first live meeting at 6 p.m. And that's gonna be held at the town hall. Is that correct, Bob? Correct. Okay. And the meeting after that would be June 14th, the regular meeting, and that will be at the DPW. And Bob, if you can make those changes public as soon as possible that we are live, let PAC TV know what we're doing and blah, blah, blah. So I don't know how they're gonna to wanna to do the meetings mm -hmm. at the DPW or how they're gonna be televised. And hopefully maybe there's a way we can do it so we can keep that public interest going. So with that, I'm looking for a motion to adjourn. Well, just one, one final comment if I can. Yeah. Regarding uh, the next generation, Dave, I think Mike, Mike, and Brett are all significantly younger than me. Well, that's hey, nice still, try, John. You're still uh, <laughs> you're still uh, younger than me too. <laughs> I don't know about that, but anyway. Yeah, yeah no, I do. I, I I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Uh, <laughs> second. I'll second that. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Any or. Uh, Roll call vote, Brett. Aye. Mike. Aye. John. Aye. And an eye for myself. Good night, everybody. Thank you, Bob, and thank you, Jane, for what you did. And now we take a break and take a breath, and we'll go back into business slowly. And all the hassle and excitement has been done. So, good night, everybody. Good night, Lumberg. Good night. Good night. Thanks. Take care, Thanks. everyone. Bye bye.